In this problem, we are given this shaded area and we need to determine its centroid location. This area is defined by two equations. One is a straight line y equals to x, that's this 45 degree line. And um, the other one is a curve y equals to x squared over 10. So again, in order to determine the x bar and y bar, we're going to use the equation x bar equals to integration of x tutor dA over integration of dA and y bar equals to integration of y tutor dA over integration of dA. So we need to choose a differential element and its area equals to dA and its own centroid location has coordinates x tutor and y tutor. So I'm going to choose the integration element to be a vertical strip at an arbitrary location x. In other words, from here to here, that is x. So for this differential element, its width is simply dx. Its height is determined by this location minus this location. So this equals to y, let's call it y1 minus y2. And y1 equals to x minus y2 equals to x squared over 10. So that's this height. Therefore, dA, the area of this rectangle, equals to its height multiplied by its width. So that's going to be x minus x squared over 10 multiplied by dx. But what about its central location, x tutor, y tutor? So this is a rectangle, therefore its centroid is right here. Um, the x location is simply x, therefore x tutor equals to x. Because I already said that this location, this much is arbitrary variable x. What about its y location? How do we determine its y location? So don't forget, let me erase this for better illustration. Don't forget this much is your y2, which equals to x squared over 10. This much is your y1 minus y2. And we need to determine this location. This much is your y tutor. So from simple geometry, you can tell that y tutor equals to half of its height, so y1 minus y2 over 2 plus y2, which means that this equals to x. Remember, y1 equals to x minus y2, x squared over 10 over 2 plus another x squared over 10. So eventually, y tutor equals to one half x plus x squared over 10. So now we're ready. We can start to do the integration. Let's start with area A, which is the denominator in, our, uh, in these two equations, which is the total integration of dA. And that equals to, remember, dA equals to x minus x squared over 10 dx integrated from 0, x equals to 0 inch, to x equals to 10 inch. So this is a simple polynomial. This equals to x squared over 2 minus x to the third power over 3 times 10, so 30, evaluated from 0 to 10, and this equals to 50 over 3. So we don't need to evaluate this at this point because uh, we're not done with the problem. So that's why we can keep this as a fraction 50 over 3 for now. So moving on to the first numerator here, which is the x tutor dA, which equals to simply x times dA. And dA, again, is x minus x squared over 10, dx integrated from 0 to 10. So again, this is not too bad to integrate. This is, uh, right here, it's uh, polynomial x squared minus x to the third over 10. So this 
becomes x to the third over 3 minus x to the fourth over uh, 40 from 0 to 10. After evaluation, this equals to 250 over 3. And lastly, we have the y tutor dA, which equals to y tutor equals to 1 half x plus x squared over 10. dA equals to x minus x squared over 10 dx. This becomes 1 half x squared minus x to the fourth power 100 dx, again integrated from 0 to 10. So that's um, algebra. And this becomes 1 half x to the third power over 3 minus x to the fifth power over 500 evaluated from 0 to 10. And that eventually becomes 200 over 3. So now we have calculated all we need for the evaluation as of x bar and y bar. Therefore, x bar equals to 250 over 3 over 50 over 3. So that eventually equals to 5 inch. So let me write it out. 250 over 3 divided by 50 over 3. And that equals to 5 in the unit of inch. And y bar equals to 200 over 3 over 50 over 3. That equals to 4 inch. So the central location is at 5 inch, 4 inch. And let's mark it on the graph to see if it makes sense. So from here to here is 10 inch, x is at 5, so midpoint. From here to here is 10 inch, y equals to 4, so about here. And that looks reasonable. So that is the centroid x bar, y bar of this shaded area.